The self-driving car is technology's biggest gift to civilization since the birth of the internet. It's only a matter of time before these cars take over the roads. In order for a self-driving car to successfully navigate a road, it must be aware of the physical objects around it. Thanks to the spinning LiDAR sensor mounted on the roof, which helps generate a three-dimensional view of the road around the vehicle. LiDAR isn't new and has been around for a while. In fact, it was conceived shortly after the development of the laser. Early work on LiDAR was documented in 1963. The high cost of laser equipment limited the use of LiDAR to only government and military agencies. However, recent price drops have made LiDAR accessible to DIYers like us, allowing us to incorporate it into our projects. One of the widely used low-cost yet accurate LiDAR sensors is the TF Mini S. This video will show you how LiDAR TF and Mini S module works and how it perform high accuracy distance measurements. So without wasting any time, let's get started. What is LiDAR and how does it work? LiDAR is a combination of the words light and radar, or if you prefer, a back ronim for light detection and ranging. LiDAR is like radar, except that it uses light instead of radio waves. At its core, LiDAR works by shooting a laser at an object. The laser bounces off of the object and returns to the sensor. By measuring the time it takes for that light to return to the sensor, the distance to the object can be estimated. The distance measured may vary depending on the environment and the reflectivity of the object. By sweeping or spinning a LiDAR sensor, a 3D map of the area can be quickly constructed. Typically, this is presented as a point cloud to better understand what the LiDAR is picking up. TF Mini S Hardware Overview The TF Mini S is a high-accuracy, single-point TOF, time-of-flight LiDAR sensor from Benawake Combi Lutted. It's perfect for incorporating high-accuracy laser-based ranging into any robotics or interactive project. The size of a USB stick, the TF Mini S allows you to integrate LiDAR into projects that were previously reserved for smaller sensors like the Sharp GP series infrared rangefinders. The TF Mini S can measure the distance to an object as close as 10 centimeters and as far as 12 meters. In addition to its low cost, small size, and long range, the TF Mini S has a higher distance measurement accuracy of plus minus 6 centimeters up to 6 meters, and plus 1% thereafter. It should be noted that this sensor does not use laser light for ranging. Instead, it uses a focused 850 nanometer infrared LED and optics. That is why the device is relatively inexpensive. Effective Detection Range As with all LiDAR sensors, the effective detection range depends on lighting conditions, weather, and the reflectivity of your target object. The animation shows the operating range of the TFM Mini S under various conditions. 0 cm to 10 cm is TFM Mini S's blind zone. Within this range, data is unreliable. Under extreme conditions, the operating range of the TFM Mini S 0.1 m to 3 m. Extreme condition refers to the outdoor glare and detection of black target, with reflectivity of 10%. Under normal sunlight conditions, with illumination intensity of around 70 clux, the operating range of the TFM Mini S is 0.1 to 7 mm. In an indoor environment or with low ambient light, the operating range of the TFM Mini S 0.1 meters to 12 meters. Communication interfaces. The TF Mini S communicates over the UART interface by default, with commonly used UART RX and TX pins operating at 1 bond 5 200 BPS. You can also configure the sensor to communicate over I2C by sending the appropriate commands. Detection frequency. According to the datasheet, the TF Mini S can perform at up to 1000 measurements per second. Default is 100. This frequency can be changed by sending the appropriate commands. It should be noted that increasing the output frequency reduces accuracy. Therefore, depending on how accurate you want the measurements to be, you should adjust the output frequency. Input Power According to the datasheet, the TFM Mini S operates on 5V and draws about 140MA during an acquisition. 
the maximum current it could draw is around 200 mmo. Please keep in mind that the TFA Mini S has no over-voltage protection, so keep the power supply voltage fluctuations within 0.1 volts. Now let's have a look at the pin out of TF Mini S. The TF Mini S has four pins. GND is the ground pin. VCC is the power input pin. Connected to five volts power supply only. RXD SDA is the pin that you can use to send data to the sensor or send receive data. TXD ESCL is the pin that either transmits data from the sensor to your microcontroller or functions as a clock. Wiring. TFM Mini S Module 2 and Arduino connections are shown in the image. TF Mini Software. The TFM Mini Software is a powerful tool for testing TFM Mini sensors. It is a free tool, but it can only be used on the Windows platform. You can download this program from the official Benawake website. Link is given in the description. Connecting TF Mini to Software To use the TFM Mini software, connect your TFM Mini S to your PC using a USB to TTL converter. Just make sure that you are providing 5V for VCC. Take the readings from the software and build something amazing. Your support means the world to us. Hitting that like and subscribe button keeps us inspired to create more awesome videos, so don't forget to show some love. Thanks for watching.